Hello, my name is Theone, and today we're going to be talking about my language, progress, and goals for the new year. So first, let me tell you about my language learning progress over the last couple years, but in the target language. We'll start with French, then Japanese, then German, and I'll even say a few words in Danish. Well, let's jump into it. So this is going to be scripted because I am a little bit uncomfortable just free speaking on camera. Uh, I want to get better at that, but this is not the video for that. This is the video for talking about my progress. So script is here. Um, some of this is even in English. So let's get started. Donc, nous commençons avec le français. C'est ma deuxième langue et j'ai étudié pour comme trop d'années à compter. C'est difficile parce que j'étais début avec la langue quand j'avais 12 ans seulement. Mais premièrement, je l'ai détesté. Mais maintenant, c'est ma langue qui avance le plus. J'ai un niveau comme B1 ou B2 euh, dans la langue, mais c'est difficile aussi parce que je n'ai aucune confiance avec la langue. J'ai beaucoup d'amis français, mais je ne parle pas avec eux car ma peur est trop grande. Mais je révise jour après jour et j'espère qu'un jour, je vais avoir plus de confiance avec la langue. De toute façon, merci d'écouter et à bientôt! Après ça, il est temps pour japonais! Konnichiwa, atashiwa, teon des, ni juni, sai des. Ni nani, Nihongo o benkoshite imas. Demo atashiwa Nihongo wa mada mada desyo. Ima atsu mare do butsu no mori de benkoshimas. Kono game wa daiski desyo. Kawaii desne. Toni kaku, gambari masho, jamata. Hallo, ich heiße Theona und ich spreche nicht Deutsch. Entschuldigen, meine deutsche Freunde. Ich habe Deutsch für ein Semester an der Universität studiert. Aber ich möchte in Zukunft mehr Deutsch lernen. Danke und tschüss. Road God mit Flood. Ja. Road God mit Flood. That's it. So those are my explanations of my progress spoken in the target languages. Now let's move on to the next segment of this video, my upcoming goals for this year and beyond. I'm trying to be a lot less stringent with my goals, especially since I'm trying to wean out of that perfectionist mindset. But I think that having loose goals will allow me to strive for something um, and keep me on track for learning my target languages. So first we have French. Like I said in my previous segment, I am level B1 or B2 in French. Um, honestly, this does not feel very much like an accomplishment considering how long I've been learning the language. Uh, but I don't know how to progress really. I think the best way to progress would be to do like italki, but I have like no money right now. So it's hard to say like, yeah, I'm going to do one italki lesson in French per week, you know. Um, but one day I would like to get to that point where I'm doing constant italki or whatever lessons. I kind of want to do one of those Lingoda sprints, like the super sprints. But again, that costs like a thousand dollars. So let's put a pin in that. For now, I want to get to eventually C1 level. Um, which is not that far it seems like, but going from B1 or B2 to C1 is like a pretty big jump if you don't know language stuff. So, um... We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Next is Japanese. So I love the Japanese language. I just suck at it because kanji is like a whole nother beast. Um, but I am getting better day by day. The other day I was playing Animal Crossing in Japanese like I talked about. And let me just say that finding out that Yuki Daruma meant snowman was the best like highlight of my year, even though that was in January. <laughs> But let's just say that was a highlight of my year. But yeah, I'd really like to get to at least N4 this year, um, which is like B1, but that's a pretty lofty goal, so we'll see if I have time for it. 
Um, but in a perfect world, we'd be N1, at least N2. <laughs> N1's like a whole nother deal. Like, so let's not say N1 is like my big goal overall, but my big goal overall is probably at least N2. Because I would like to live in Japan for a little bit and just like explore the country. So write some poetry about it, you know. Next is German. So German. I really want to go to Germany. I have been to Germany for like a couple weeks before with some friends. Um, that was honestly a blessing in my life and I loved it, um, but I don't know much more than like, Danke, Tschüss. I also took uh, German for one semester in university, like I said, but I was taking it at the same time as Japanese and that's kind of why my Japanese got worse, <laughs> but like both my languages got worse because I was beginning with both of them. So it's a terrible idea. Don't start two languages at the same time. Just don't, just don't do it. Learn from my mistakes. Um, but anyway, German, I would like to get to like B2 level eventually, but my goal for this year is to get to at least A1, maybe A2 level. So yeah, Danish. I totally just said road, road, my road, and that was it. And honestly, I don't have as much motivation to learn Danish anymore. Um, it's kind of a heritage language for me. I have some books in Danish that I inherited from my grandparents, who inherited it from their grandparents, and I really like the concept of learning Danish, but the, in practice, I don't have anyone to practice with. I don't know what I'm doing, and honestly, I don't have the passion for it right now. So maybe one day I can set up a like trip to Copenhagen, and maybe I can learn some for that. But right now, I'm just gonna leave it on the back burner. Um, so yeah, miscellaneous languages. Um, I've been really wanting to learn Polish lately, but I think that's a terrible idea, so I'm probably not gonna do it. We'll see. Um, what else? Uh, I've always wanted to learn Korean, but lately I haven't been fighting with it, so probably not Korean. Let's see. Uh, I don't know how I feel about Spanish. I kinda wanna learn Spanish, but also it's like, I don't know. I live in a state where I should know Spanish, but I can't roll my R's, and I know that's such a stupid reason, but it's so ingrained in my brain that if I mess up with the language and I can't speak it properly, then what's the point almost? So I, that's why I haven't. All I know how to say in Spanish is like, um, como estas tu? Uh, muy bien, gracias. Y tu? Uh, muy bien, gracias. So that's like a little mini conversation. Also, I know how to say, um, uh, me gusta tus zapatos. I wanted to compliment this kid's shoe, so I asked the parent how to say it, and they told me to say, me gusta tus zapatos. So I know how to say I like your shoes in Spanish. But Spanish is, again, love and hate relationship. Kind of want to learn it. Kind of don't know where to start. Probably anywhere would be better than nowhere. <laughs> so right now on my radar are Polish and Spanish, I guess. I kind of also want to learn some, some kind of Scandinavian language. So even if Danish isn't like the biggest one, maybe like Swedish or Norwegian. Um, Indonesian sounds really cool. I feel like Hindi and Urdu, I don't have a reason to learn. I don't watch Bollywood or any kind of dramas. That's where I have trouble with Korean too, is that like, I don't take in any Korean media. Like, I don't watch dramas and I don't really listen to like, foreign music as much as I should. So like, K-pop's not super on my radar. So it feels like I don't have engagement in those languages already, so it's hard to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna learn these languages. Honestly, I don't take in enough media, which makes it hard to learn languages in general, but I've been trying to get into, like, learning Japanese passively through anime while crocheting, because then I feel less lazy, because when I watch shows, I feel, like, lazy and, like, unproductive, so, um, it's like I only have so much energy, so why spend it doing something that's not productive? Also, as far as, like, Arabic goes, I think Arabic would be a cool language to learn. I don't know where to begin with Arabic, because there are so many dialects. All I know is Maktaba. Honestly, the point with all these miscellaneous languages is I don't know where to start. I don't know if I have long, ongoing motivation. Um, but I would like to be a polyglot and I love learning languages. I just don't know which ones I should invest my time in. So yeah, those are languages that are on my radar. And that's it for this video. The overview is that I'm native level in English. I'm about B1 or maybe low B2 in French. I'm like A1 or A2, like N5 level. Um, Japanese, my German is not the best. It's probably not even A1. And my Danish is basically non-existent. So what did we learn? Nothing. Fiona can't learn languages, even though she wants to be a polyglot. Teasing. But yeah, 
that's my language progress and goals for the future. Not really 2023, more so the future than anything else. So yeah, uh, if you like this video, be sure to like it, subscribe for more, and follow me on all my socials, which are linked down below. Yeah. I hope you like this video. <laughs> anyway, uh, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and um, yeah, I hope to see you all soon. Bye.